earlier I was saying, you guys all had excellent answers when you are asking me, like, because I think you also were saying kind of Latin or like Afro-Cuban. We had variations. I know my buddies who are from Cuba and Puerto Rico really get on my case if I refer to it as Latin. They're like, yeah. they're, it's like, they're like saying, you know, that's like catch catch-all phrase of saying, you know, like every musical style in the United States is American. You know, that's, it's like, it's a lot more, there's so many musical styles, but again, I'm not the guy, and I'm sure you don't want to hear all the, all the, you can go over to the university and take a class in it or something. But the basic idea, this rhythm, this dun, 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 comes up in a lot of different musical styles. And again, kind of coming back, tying in with our drumline analogies and stuff, a great way to practice a rhythm like that and how to apply it to the drum set, you might take something as simple as putting on your bedroom. Oops, don't be tripping right now. Right, so we say. Count that. If I'm sitting here, here's a this is a quarter note. What would I say? What, what rhythms? Can anyone? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. We all say that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. It's a, it's, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> one E and a two E and a three and a four E. Yeah. One, and again, I did teach drum lines, so I'm like, like a gator guy. One E and a two E and a three. Give it a try. Come on, guys. And one E and a two E and a Give you a little hint, and again, everybody that knows me knows I can be a tad prickly. If you don't even try something, you're never going to get it. Okay? I'm not like I will say. Anybody who knows me and knows my teach, I've taught drumline for years. Stuff. I'm notorious for. I do not. I, I will be very, very, very upfront with you and say, Hey, look, you gotta do it. If you, somebody says you count, everyone's like, I don't count. Well, then you wonder why you can't play. You know? Let's be blunt. Let's not sugarcoat it. You have to count. You have to say something. You like it's like me. I always say I can't sing. Well, it's because I don't sing much. I don't ever try. I don't get up every day and go, you know, go red me fossil. You know, we don't want. You know, that's it. I'm just it's not something. It's a goal of mine. So younger people, please, please, please. It's not a band director thing. It's this guy is your friend. And you can subtle break that down. So when we take something like that, if you listen, I'm gonna go in half time. E and two E and a, and a four. Or in this case of this rhythm. Let's all try that together. Ready? Okay, now if we take that idea and then, thank you, very, very nicely done too. If we take that and let's apply it to something that's kind of a little bit more up tempo wise, going for a little kind of kick in here. Now I'm going to actually take that rhythm, but I'm going to play it in reverse. I'm going to play. And then I'm just going to kind of play around with that a little bit. Okay, let's just check that out. So.
I'd be the first to see. You see, you can hear a few places where I'm trying to like just keep something going, and my tongue goes. Ugh. I mean, guys, again, it's a lifelong struggle. I mean, I've. That's if you ever see me kind of. Sh sh I always joke with Tobin. The you know any of the nice, really nice things that people will say to me, like, you know, I'm a local celebrity, man. I feel like local mediocre guy. That's I, you know, to me, there's so much I have to learn and trying to do as a player that even as I play something like that, I go, gosh, oh, not, not a good idea. But what was the one thing I kind of kept trying to come back to there? Can someone kind of tell me? It's kind of a compositional idea. Anybody that writes music, like writes songs, like theme variation, well, right? I kept trying to get back to you. Sometimes I didn't do such a good job, but put that up. Right? And try and make it fairly obvious. You know, you can get real cute with it and stuff. But the thing being, again, that that pulse is still inside my head. Now, most of you can check out some of these DVDs. If you ever hear Horacio Hernandez, Daphne Sprito, um, all these guys that are like uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, they're amazing. They'll have the jam block, you know, it's got, 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 and then all over the place, believe me. You know, at the end of the day, man, don't let me fool you. When, it, when today's done, tonight I'll be in Tallahassee, and here's what I'll be doing. And, that's, and to me, to be perfectly honest, that's the one thing I feel like I'm actually kind of good at. It's probably the reason I somehow managed to pay a mortgage on my house and stuff playing drums. That's really what it boils down to, is that you have to have your thing you do. But again, like I was saying at the outset, this is what, anytime I do these clinics and educational things, I want to kind of share with you my excitement and joy about learning something new that I'm sure you guys have. You wouldn't walk in here and do this. You know, and that's what is so cool about things like studio percussion and these kind of opportunities. All these people that volunteer, I mean, Carol, Shin, I, you guys all blow my mind. They're always here doing something, always helping people. That, to me, that, that's very humbling. I just go, man, you know, I, I know, I know how much I spend time just being a gigmeister, you know, constantly, that was for the next gig. And, and, and a lot of times you miss out on the fun of interacting with people, and that's the best thing is the sense of, of community that studio percussion is fostering. That's really the reason I, when a year and a half ago, when Tobin and I talked about merging, I had taught lessons forever, but I always kind of felt this disconnect. I had like 40 private students, but loved doing that, but I felt bad for the students because I didn't feel like I gave them anything else. You know, it's kind of like, okay, I can help you with your drumming and your amount of playing or whatever, but you didn't get a, you know, an application for it. So hopefully for you guys, the, the thing I would suggest here is to try and kind of take that into context and really get involved. I mean, this, the community, Gainesville's drumming community is only as good as you make it. I mean, these guys are providing everything. I look around and I see some, you know, again, resource of I me. Mean, like, again, I'm sorry to pick on Jeff so much, but Jeff Durant, he's one of my favorite, he's definitely, I'd be first to say, he's one of my favorite drummers. I, mean, I love you to death, dude. And that's like, that kind of thing, that's, you know, that says something. Doesn't have to be someone on a DVD. They just have to live somewhere else, you know. Dave Weckl's amazing, you know, but he's still a guy. He just lives in New York, worked real hard, practiced a lot. Okay, we've got some people in this area. What's Richard's last name? If y'all have ever heard Richard Patrick, you need to. If you like drums, it's just like you need to hear Jeff. If you're ever, Jeff, are, we, are you doing anything like in, in town? Do you have any of your bands going? Or are you doing a lot? Of, you know, a lot. You still doing a lot of stuff with the church, then, right? I mean, again, I mean, these guys, Richard and Jeff, are two guys who just dropped my jaw. You know, because I was about 22 the first time I ever heard Richard, and I thought I was like pretty, get pretty good. <laughs> Played a gig with him with the University of Florida choir, and I was like, <laughs> I think I went home going, hmm. Could maybe you know, mom was right. Maybe I go back to school and get a degree in something else. You know, get into, and that, but you know that's the wrong attitude, man. As soon as you get away from that, then you go, man, this is cool. It makes me want to practice. It makes me want to work. You know, and that's that's the end of the day. The beautiful thing about music, each person has their voice. There's space for everybody. Every single one of you, no matter how great the kid next to you in the drum line is, guess what? You're gonna have your own voice.